My fellow Catholics, welcome to latinrightmass.org. Today we're going to be looking at the data that Kerry released uh, back in September for the Catholic Church statistics in the U.S. It's for those of you that have not looked at this data before, um, you can always go to kara.georgetown.edu and it'll take you right to this website. Now, the previous, uh, this is a new website that they just created. The previous one is still available. Um, you just have to go to kara.georgetown.edu slash karaservices slash requestedchurchstats.html. And I will put the links to these in the video notes so that if you want to look at it yourself, you can. And I encourage it, actually. Now, we're going to be looking at uh, the 2015 data. And if you remember, when looking at this data, um, this is actually two years old. So whatever year, for instance, if it's 2014 there, it's actually from 2012. Okay. So it's always two years off. Now, the new website, a um, little nicer, a little cleaner, but um, unfortunately it doesn't give us much hope for the Catholic Church in the United States. It is on the downturn. Now, there's not much more to add other than it's lower, but this time around, I've decided to actually add um, projections for the coming years. So, I took the data, put it in a spreadsheet, and then I graphed it. And when we look at total priests, remember, Always two years. If it says 1965, this actually means 1963. If this says 2020, it's actually 2018. Okay. Now, the trend is clearly from 1968. This is 1968 here, even though it says 1970. From that point on, it's all downhill from there. Now, these are on five-year increments from bar to bar on the blue. The red is year for year uh, on the projections. Now, how we d I came up with this is very simple. I just took the data between 1995, between 2015, and I subtracted the difference, and I divided by that by 20 years. And that... I then calculated that out year over year over year so that this was calculated for by 21 years. This was calculated by 22 years, by 23 years, 24 years, and 25 years. And that's the number up here. Now, the, this method is extremely conservative because it doesn't take into any, uh, doesn't take into consideration any other variables other than the um, difference from year to year. I can tell you, it is much worse. It's going to be much worse. But this is just clearly, it's just to show that the data is, uh, is just ugly. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. Anyone who tells you that the church is growing, that the church is in great condition, that the great church is well established, is just either a complete moron or an idiot. I mean, you have to be ignorant of anything that's going on in the church to say that the church is growing. So let's just get started. Let's start with total priests. As you can see for 2015, there are 37,578. And this is actually means this is 2013 data. So to, if we look at today, 
what's actually going on right now for 2015, we probably only got 36,000 priests total. Then if we look at the diocesan number of priests, for 2015 it shows 25,868. But that's, again, that's 2013 data. So if we move over here, where we actually probably have is about 25,220. But even then, that's not all the actual number of priests. Because we then we have to look at is the number of active priests. Look at this. Number of active priests, less and less and less and less. So that means the number of priests total versus the number that are actually able to do anything that are not retired. We're down to 66%, which I find that an interesting number for them. But at any rate, so we're down to 16,000 priests in actuality as, this, as of this recording in 2015, as we end 2015, which falls in line with the number of parishes. Because the number of parishes, we got about 17,138. There's basically one priest per parish. That's all there is. That's all it's going to have. Okay. Religious sisters. Or excuse me, religious priests. Okay. We're down to 10,000. Now, in this category, they don't tell us how many of those are active and how many of those are inactive. But <clears throat> I would assume that a religious priest is pretty much active till the day they die. But who knows? At any rate, we only got about 10,000 of them. Um, so it's nice to have. Uh, priestly ordinations, number of ordinations that actually, people that actually become priests every year. Um, 2015, which is actually 2013, 515, and I don't expect that to change. Based on this wackiness, there's, we'll be lucky to get 500 priests every year from now on. Now, let me tell you, there is no one to blame for the number of priests than Catholics themselves. Priestly vocations come from Catholic families. And when you have a 50% divorce rate in the United States alone, when you have people that only have one or two children at the most, as and call themselves Catholics, this is a miracle in and of itself. Because priests come from the Catholic family. Okay, a Catholic family that goes to church regularly and they foster vocations. At that point, one of their children, one of their male children, will hear the vocation like they used to years ago. But nobody goes to church. Okay, and don't even get me started on which mass to go to. Religious sisters, this is, as I said before, it's just an absolute tragedy. That's the only word you can use. I can almost guarantee you that if you were to take another graph of the decay of the United States, it would probably follow this perfectly in parallel. And religious brothers, well, like I've said before, there's not much left, so hold on to what we got and cherish it because it's all you're going to get so folks let me just tell you it's anyone who thinks this is normal anyone who accepts this as the status quo is an enemy of the church pure and simple now going back to uh, Kara from Georgetown University this is their old site here, but you go to the new site, and there's just something about this website that seems wrong. Because the way they do the data, the way they hide certain things, the way they mix things around to kind of confuse people, it, what it tells me is that they're not doing this to demonstrate or to help Catholics. This is a documentation of the destruction of the church 
This is how they monitor the destruction of the church. This is how they gauge their effectiveness of what they do. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. Even their own logos, which this some kind of a weird logo here where it says Kara and you got the star and the circles. What are those circles? Well, you know, when I went over to their blog and their blog is called 1964, which is strange, but nevertheless, it is what it is. But they put the logo inside the number six. So then you have a number nine, which is an upside down, upside down six. You have a number six and you have six rings in there and Kara actually me and if you were to take those letters Kara put her in a gematria calculator where they you know pagans calculate numbers based on um, on the letters it comes out to 23 now two-thirds it's two three. Two three is two thirds, and two thirds in decimal form is point six six six. So there's just something about this whole website that just doesn't strike me as they're there to help us Catholics or the Catholic Church. I could be wrong, but there's just something fundamentally wrong with this whole group. So anyway, there you have it. Nothing but uh, good news for you. Uh, check out the links. Go to Mass. Go to the Latin Mass. Um, you know, 